Hello people, today we are going to speak about cheap gear and can it sound good on black metal? Spoiler alert, of course it can, it's black metal, but we are still going to talk about it. So today we are going to speak about cheap gear in general, how much money should you spend on your gear and give some examples and unbox and test one cheap guitar I got from donor. Stay tuned. Don't buy the cheapest. For example, don't buy expensive guitar cables, but don't buy the cheapest either. I learned that the hard way. Now some things like headphones. Don't buy the cheapest don't buy the most expensive. You can always find some brands which are not that big but offer really good headphones. Like for example these headphones, Superlux headphones. They are okay. And I always mention my first microphone which was less than 10 bucks but it got the job done. And yeah, microphones can be tricky, the more expensive they are, the better. A good tip I can give you is always do some research before buying a piece of musical gear. Like for example, my friend bought a microphone for recording guitars and if he spent $20 more, he could get a Shure SM57. You can't go wrong with that microphone. Do some research. It's not that expensive, but in the world of microphones, it's one of the best, if not the best. Now the next thing we are going to speak about is the gear brand. My bass pedal, Behringer, the brand everyone hates and the brand everyone loves because they offer the cheapest stuff and the quality is okay. And I own some Behringer stuff and I can say that I am pretty happy with them. They get the job done and even more. Now about popular pieces of gear, for example, Focusrite 2i2 audio interface. I didn't use it right now, I got a little bit better one, SSL 2 Plus, but this one everyone recommends and this one I recommend. You spend 20 or 30 bucks less for other audio interfaces when you can get the most average, the best for the price and, and the nicest looking one. And I'm not sponsored by Focusrite or any of these items, except I got this donor guitar for review and we will check it soon. And if you don't have a lot of money for some things, but you do still have some, I would suggest that you buy the middle priced things which are average. Like for example, my Adam monitors. They are not the cheapest, they are not the most expensive, they are in the middle price range. And I still did some research to buy those. And for the things you don't know much about, you would like to try them, you don't know a lot about those stuff, yeah, you should still do some research. Like for example, when I first time bought my First MIDI keyboards, I got this Akai MIDI and I'm very happy with them. I know it's a struggle, I know you need some cash, but if you're a beginner, don't buy the cheapest, buy cheap, but not the cheapest and do the research. Now, another thing is expendable piece of gear which you use. For example, drumsticks and guitar strings. There I buy cheap guitar strings and drumsticks for my work and when I do something a bit more serious, I invest a bit more of money to get better guitar strings or drumsticks. But in my opinion, the priority in spending money is always the stuff where audio came out. So monitors and headphones, because the audio you hear trains your ear. Hmm, <laughs> it even rhymes. Now we are going to open this cheap donor guitar, unbox it, review it and play some black metal on it. Check my description for donor, check their instruments, they have really cheap and good instruments and use my affiliate code. I'm not going to do a review like other people do. I'm going to review it the black metal way by playing some black metal on it. And owner should already know that. So what do you get for 133 euros? Let's find out. Oh. So you get a cable. I think this is one of the types of the cables I spoke about which are cheap but it is fat and it looks kind of good this might be a really good uh, guitar cable but we'll still use 
my own. You get a guitar strap, nice. Donor, really nice. And you get a case, hmm, this is very nice. What's this? Oh, some keys, hmm, everything inside, very good. Is there anything here? Nothing, okay. Uh, to be honest, it looks really nice. It looks... It looks like I'm in the music shop right now. Really professional. It's very light and it feels very, very good. Okay, it needs some tuning. Does Chief Gear sound good on black metal? Let's find out. So I've been tuning the guitar and playing it a bit and I can say for this price, this is a really good guitar. You know, neck 99% perfect. Guitar is light, everything is on place. I like this guitar. For this price, you know, if this was my first guitar, I would not be sorry. And even now, I'm going to play on it because it's really good. If you think that I'm bullshitting or whatever, let your ears be the judge. Let's play some black metal. First raw, camera, a bit with microphone and then we'll see the full mix. How it sounds in the full mix. 